Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your fourth tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. And in this tutorial, I'm going to quickly discuss what a rational number is. So, a rational number is a ratio of two integers. So, remember from lesson one, an integer is all the numbers counting by ones, starting at zero and counting up one, two, three, four, five, as far as you want to go in the positive direction, and starting at zero, counting down negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, as far as you want to go counting by ones in the negative direction. All of those numbers are the integers. So then what is a ratio of two integers? Well, a ratio is simply one number divided by another number. So we'll just call our numbers a and b. And so if a is an integer and b is an integer, then we have a rational number. So for example, we could pick the number negative two as our a, and we could pick three as our b. Both of these are integers, so therefore we have a rational number. We could write the ratio 4 divided by 21, we could say negative 6 over 45. And all of these are ratios, and there's a integer in the numerator and an integer in the denominator of all of these. So therefore, we have made three different rational numbers. And you can do this with any two integers you'd like, and you'll make a rational number. So that's what a rational number is, but there's one other thing I wanted to point out before I finish this. Let's say, let's just look at the plain old number 2. Well, is, num is 2 a rational number? We know it's an integer, but what, what's another way that we could write this? We could say 2 is equal to 2 divided by 1, because any number divided by the number 1 is simply itself. So 2 can be written as a ratio of two integers. 2 is an integer, 1 is an integer, and this is a ratio of two integers. So therefore, every integer can be divided by 1, and therefore, every integer is a rational number. On the other hand, rational numbers aren't always integers. For example, 4 divided by 21 can't be written as one of these numbers up here. So therefore, all integers are rational numbers, but not all rational numbers are integers. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, uh, don't forget to subscribe.